hi all just going through this particular question when you look into this like uh, if you don't have a data right so i just want to showcase no data available in the dashboard that's what the question asked from jaha so i would like to show a message of no data available okay generally it's not a parameter the question is if the user selects some of the filter where there is no data in general if it is a parameter we can write a calculation and we can display some part of text but yeah this particular question belongs to a filter actually if a user selects some of the filter where there is no data basically is saying like uh, we can also add a floating message object behind the chart that is possible correct but uh, what he's saying is since i'm using the horizontal layout i cannot add a floating message since it is totally transparent so and he also saying that i cannot change the layout because i definitely need it in the structure of the dashboard is there any way such as adding actions to display no data available message basically uh, yes this is an interesting point so when you look into this uh, let's say i'm going to create a new dashboard and he's saying he used horizontal layout click on this drop down and let's go back to horizontal layout let's see i'm using a floating object this is a horizontal layout and let's say i have a sheet six i'm going to use shift and drop into horizontal layout control z let's drop one second yeah perfect so i have sheet six the question is whenever they are going to unselect they just need a text or a pop-up that shows uh, no data available correct so we try it uh, basically we can also go back to container select container and you can also drag and drop in other sheet but it it won't compress or it won't hide this particular sheet and to showcase the other other sheet display message so that is what the problem with a uh, filter as i said if you are going to use parameter that's fine but if you are going to use filters whatever the structure of the sheet it, it remains the same okay so in this case what we can do is let's select all uh, i do prefer we have an option to go for caption so the default caption okay so if you want you can uh, change the caption as well but uh, i do feel like whenever you're going to change the caption it will become as a static but let's use the same caption here and let's say uh, you can see the view is filtered on subcategory which keeps 17 out uh, 17 of 17 members okay whenever we are going to unselect some part of data it clearly indicates that the view is filtered on subcategory which excludes accessories appliances and dart so that means most of the cases this kind of a text information or related to this particular sheet information but at least we are showing some part of uh, information related to this sheet but let's say whenever you are going to unselect unselect in the field unselect all in the filter you can clearly see this particular information that the view is filtered on subcategory which keeps zero of 17 members that means we don't have any data or whatever the data we selected which we don't have any information on this so maybe uh, we can customize this is one part of solution but we may have different solution by writing some of the logics or maybe we can we can overlap or something like that it depends so but this is uh, one of the solution i do prefer or maybe we can use uh, a different calculations i'm not sure exactly but may this particular caption helps to indicate that because at least it's showing in the top the text because we don't have any labels if we have data it remains the same in the bottom but if you don't have any information it pops up and it shows that particular caption which tells no uh, the filter is applied and we don't have any data that something like which keeps zero of 17 members okay this might helps for this particular question like no data available a kind of uh, issue 
whenever we are using containers with filters combination okay thanks for watching and please to subscribe